Hello and welcome. This is a video guide on how to optimize Amazon's new game, New World. I want to point out the guide will definitely be helpful for high-end systems, but it will boost mid-range and low-end gaming PC systems with much more effectiveness. This guide will not only show you how to boost the FPS, but it will also improve game quality and system performance. In turn, this will help fix any lag or FPS drops or stutters that that you could be encountering while playing New World. So let's go through a few simple steps that show the best settings to apply in Windows as well as in game and also a few recommendations along the way. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's go over the best Windows 10 PC settings step by step. Step one, clean out your shader cache. I cannot stress enough how important this is. This basically cleanses and resets your stored shaders, which are basically tones and textures that your installed games save. Every time there's a new update, more are added on. Shader compiling can cause crashes, stutters, freezes, and even overheating in some cases. It uses extra memory too. Resetting your shader cache should always be the first thing you do before installing a new game or when a new update comes along. Now there's a link in the description for a video that will show you two simple ways on how to easily clean and reset your shader cache. Step two, to ensure you get the most out of your PC whilst you game, I highly advise that you switch off every overlay and background application while you play. Things like Steam, Nvidia GeForce, Xbox Game Bar, Discord, even River Tuner, and any others that could affect the performance while you game. This is mostly for players with low end gaming systems that need all the power they can get, basically. To turn the Steam overlay off, just head into the Steam setting menu, click in-game and untick the box that says enable the Steam overlay while in-game. To turn off the NVIDIA GeForce overlay, open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience, click on the settings icon, go to general and switch off the in-game overlay for Xbox Game Bar. Using the Windows search bar, type Game Mode Settings and then click the icon. Once the window is open, navigate to the left side and click Xbox Game Bar. And of course, set it off. Then you navigate back to the left and click on Captures, where you then need to switch off background recording and recorded audio. For Discord, all you need to do is open Settings and on the left, select Overlay. You'll then just need to disable the option that says Enable In-Game Overlay. After you've done that, navigate to Advanced and make sure Hardware Acceleration is set to Off, as this actually uses GPU power to run Discord. Step 3. In the Windows search bar, type in Game Mode and click the settings icon. Once the window pops up, ensure Game Mode is set to On. For quite some time, there were issues with this particular setting, but Microsoft has now finally fixed it. So basically, if you're running the very latest version of Windows 10, make sure you turn Game Mode On. This will force all your PC resources on the game you're playing and suppresses any background activity from affecting your system while you game. Step number four, navigate back to the window search bar and type in graphics settings and then click the icon. Now in here you should see an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and this needs to be set to on. If it wasn't, you will need to restart your PC once you've turned it on. Once you've done that, navigate down to graphics performance preference and you'll want to add new world to your graphics performance list. To do this, you need to find your games directory directory and add the games launch application to it. You basically need to find where it is installed. So an easy way to do this, you open up Steam, go to your library, right click on new world, click on properties and then click local files and then browse. What you then want to do is copy the directory link, which is where your game is installed. And then you can just close Steam, go back to your graphic settings window, click browse and just paste the link to the address bar at the the top. Then find the application icon for New World and you simply add it to your graphics list. Finally, you click on options, set it to high performance, click save and then you're done. Step 5. Go back to the Windows search bar once again, type in Power Plan and click Edit Power Plan. At the very top, click Power Options and under Preferred Plans, ensure high performance is selected. 
Step six, if you have multiple screens, I would advise to only have one screen on when you play. If you press the Windows key and P together, you will bring up a menu that lets you select which screens to have on. Step seven, background apps. Simply type settings into Windows search bar and click the icon, then select privacy. On the left menu, scroll down all the way until you see background apps. Then simply switch off, let apps run in the background. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the game and we're gonna change a couple of things. First and foremost, head over to preferences and ensure that bandwidth is set to high. Of course, if your internet connection is really very terrible, then you might wanna set it to medium or low. I do also recommend switching off enable analytics reporting. Next, let's head over to the visuals tab. For window mode, of course, full screen is always the best setting for the best performance. Resolution should be your native resolution. My mod monitor is 1080p so I set mine to 1080p. Brightness and contrast is really up to you obviously. Field of view I really wouldn't go over 60 unless you have a high-end GPU. Basically if you don't know the higher the number the more you can see on screen which of course means your GPU needs to render more. For video quality let's just go ahead and set it to custom. Effect details will give you the biggest boost to FPS the lower you set it. I recommend setting it to low or medium for around a 3% boost to your FPS. But also, having it on a lower setting will also make your frames per second more consistent and stable. With lighting details, I would say medium is the best setting. Object details can be set to low or medium for higher performance. Shadows details will also give you the most amount of FPS out of all the settings, so I would recommend low as graphically it has little to no impact. With terrain details, there doesn't seem seem to be much difference between medium and low so go with medium. For texture details you can go high or very high unless you're trying to play this game on an actual potato. Kind of like an integrated graphics laptop which you're really going to struggle with anyway. In terms of water detail I'd say medium or low but just have a little play around with it. I would actually say it's a good idea to turn on your FPS counter as that will give you an idea of your system's capabilities. With VSync you should set it to off if you have a G-Sync or FreeSync monitor. If you don't have that function with your monitor, then having V-Sync on or off is really down to you. If you have it on, it'll stop your screen from tearing, but you will have input latency, which is very low and hardly noticeable, but could give you a disadvantage against your competition in multiplayer games. Setting it off will remove that input latency, but you might see screen tearing. If you do set it off, then it is recommended that you do cap the frame rate to no higher than 60 frames per second, as that will actually help you minimize tearing. For max FPS, you will, as I just said, want to cap it to 60 FPS, unless you are running a medium or high end system, in which case you can just leave it uncapped. Play a nameplate's amount. I'd say keep that low, no more than five really. This can really hurt your frame, so keep it on two or three unless absolutely necessary. And then finally, for both cap FPS in background and dynamic resolution scaling, I would recommend you keep these two on. Another thing you should keep an eye on is your temperature. Just make sure it doesn't get too high. New World seems to be overheating some GPUs, so you really don't want it going over 70. If it's going over 70, you might want to bring down your settings a little bit. Now, of course, of course, all of these settings really depend on your PC, so definitely play around and see what works best for you and your own system. I do really hope this guide helps you in some way or another. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.